there we go. Good evening, good evening. I've been having an absolute nightmare. It just didn't want to work for me today. Um, bear with. Let's just make sure this is all showing properly. Bear with me, please. You can join me in a moment. And I have to mute my computer. And then, there we are. Ta da! Perfect. Right, give me a little hello in the comments if you are watching this because I've had an absolute nightmare getting my streaming to work. So we're only three minutes late, which isn't too bad. I can see there's three of you there. So just give me a little hello or a thumbs up um, if you're watching this and you think you know someone who might like to join in, um, then there is a share button as well. You can share to let people know that you're here. Hi Annie, how are you? Oh, you get to have a look for yourself tomorrow because you're here for a workshop. <laughs> right, as always when I do these live streams, there is a little bit of a lag, so I find it quite hard to see what's happening. Um, so just bear with me while I just get all my screens round and about so you can see what's what. Okay. So I've got you on my laptop, um, so I'm probably going to have to duck down here. In fact, I might get a stool. One second. Where is the big stool? Where am I hiding it? I don't actually know where it is. That's really bad, isn't it? No, I've got absolutely no idea where that is. I'm going to have to just keep ducking you here. <laughs> so behind me is our new shop area here at BTHQ um, and as you can see we've got a lovely big shelf full of bits and bobs, we've got a lovely pattern shelf, um, I'll just duck you down, we've got our sewing machine display and our remnants and then behind me here is all of our thread and by the meter stuff. Um, so yes, I've had a really good sort out, a really good arrange, got it all really nice um, and I haven't bought much new in the way of fabric. Um, what I've decided to do is focus more on the things that people need because we do still have quite a lot of fabric in stock. I have got some new ones so don't worry. Um, but what we find here is that I tend to only stock the things that people need when they come to a class um, or if they're doing one of my online courses. I don't stock everything that you could possibly want. I'm not a fabric shop in the truest sense of the word. In fact, we're not even a retail shop. We are a workshop that offers products to their clients and customers to take home with them so they can get things made. So I am quite um, fussy about what I tend to stock here. But what I've noticed over the last few months since things have been picking up and people have been coming into classes again um, is that I was sending them to Amazon to buy so many things. Um, and although I have an Amazon affiliate shop, so I do get a little tiny commission um, on anything that's purchased, um, I wasn't benefiting really financially um, and it was silly people would come and do a one day beginners course with me for instance and they'd go off and they'd buy a rotary cutter and a ruler and a cutting mat and some clips and some thread, um, obviously they'd get the fabrics from me um, but all their basics that they need um, I'd be sending them off to Amazon to buy or Hobbycraft or another fabric shop and we don't actually have any real fabric shops or haberdashery shops that nearby to us here in Brentwood. Um, for a long time we've had the remnant shop in um, Brentwood town um, but sadly that is closing down. The owner Jeff um, is very very poorly um, and he is closing down his shop. I think it may have even closed by now um, and for a long while I've never wanted to tread on his toes when it comes to things. Um, because he's been here for ages, he's been in an institution. I used to shop there when I bought all my um, fabrics to 
make to sell. So I didn't ever want to tread on his toes um, and I'm certainly not taking advantage of the fact that he's now closing but it's just a convenient time, it's worked out quite well. Um, I don't feel quite so bad <laughs> about getting some of the stock in that I've got. So I've made more of a haberdashery kind of area here in the shop. The fabrics are all still on the wall behind me up here for you to peruse and have a look at. Um, and then our next door unit um, through that door there is where we um, do all of our workshops and our classes. So, new things in. Let's get started. Let me just check the comments quickly. Hello Mabel. Hello Beth. Hi Michelle. <laughs> so, new things in. As you'll see um, behind me, we've now got a full rack of Pope's Moon thread. Um, in all the different colours, which is lovely, so you can now purchase thread to match your project. Um, we've still got all the cords that we've always had, and um, lots of different colours of cords, so if you're doing any kind of drawstring bags, um, that's available for you. And a small range of webbing and strapping. Um, what's new is something that I was unaware that you could even get in the UK, but I buy whenever I go to the Netherlands, and I buy it in little packs, and that is jersey binding. Now, I love jersey binding. I've used it to bind this entire dress. More on that later. Um, but you can see, I don't know if you can actually, but it's all bound really nicely with this um, jersey viscose binding. This is binding I bought in the Netherlands, but it's the same stuff that I've got here. So I've got black and red in viscose and like a grey, pale grey marl in the cotton. And I've got a jade green and a dark grey on their way and a navy on their way. They should be with me on Tuesday or Wednesday next week. So that stuff is amazing if you want really nice neat necklines. Um, it is absolutely wonderful and I've been a big fan of that for some time. And then the other thing that I'm always a big fan of but you can never get wide enough um, is the double fold elastic which we use for our make your own knicker course. Um, so I've got obviously you can see I've got that in four colours. This is nice and wide so it's cerise, cream, red for your Christmas knickers and a blue and then the ones that we've always stocked the black um, with the scalloped edge and we've also got bra elastic in black and white now I'm not going to be encouraging you to make your own bras but where bra elastic is really useful is if you're making a big balloon sleeve with an elasticated um, with the elastic threaded into a channel around the wrist bra elastic isn't quite so tight it's looser and it's just a little bit more comfortable um, to wear on the wrist so that's what I like to use that for I also use that um, if I'm sewing elastic into um, just onto a waist seam of a stretchy garment um, just to give you a bit of extra cinch and again it's nice and soft against the skin so we've got that in um, other new things that we've got in let me move you this way just a little bit this is the thing I am most excited about this arrived today if you follow me on my Instagram this is a whole rack of Gutterman Maraflex thread there's already two colours that we've sold out of today it's been that popular um, if you don't know what Maraflex thread is, don't worry, you've not been living under a rock. I didn't know what it was either until very, very recently. Um, I was told about it by the lovely Jane, one of our customers, and I tried it. I bought some when we were in Amsterdam. I've made three garments with it. I love it. Love, 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 love it. It has literally changed my life. Um, if you sew a lot of jersey, which I do, and you don't always use an overlocker and you like to just sew on a normal sewing machine but you don't like using a zigzag stitch, this stuff is for you. It has ever such a tiny bit of stretch in it. Put it on the top and in your bobbin and you just sew your garment like you would a normal woven garment. And the seams are beautiful. They come out so nicely. I mean, you're not, I did this whole garment in it. You're not gonna be able to see the seams, but honestly, it looks like something I bought out of a shop. Um, they don't wibble, they don't wobble, they don't pucker up. Sometimes if you use a really lightweight um, floaty jersey and you use an overlocker, it can kind of go and it doesn't look nice. Um, but you can press all your seams open. It's, oh, it's just wonderful. I love it. Maraflex all the way. I have got another order coming. I placed it today because I sold out so quickly. I didn't realise the rack only comes with three of each colour. 
Um, so I've ordered more of the basic colours, your black, your creams, um, whites, etc. And what's nice is they've got one, I can't show you because I don't have any, um, called Bridal White, which is kind of an off-white. So you haven't got that bright starkness. Becky says Mariflex is great, I've used it and love it too. Honestly, it's, oh, <gasps> changed my life. Wonderful stuff. Um, some of the other things that we've got um, in the shop, which are fairly recent additions, um, although not new this week, um, is the zipper jig. Now the zipper jig is a wonderful little creature, it's like a little rabbit. If you put zips on continuous zip tape and you struggle to get the tape into the holes on the zip, um, Elaine, one of our tutors, has designed this. Um, zipper jig and she gets she actually 3d prints it herself um, and she's made us some in our company colors and they are wonderful if you have a look on our website um, and just put zip jig in the search or zipper jig in the search then um, there's a little video on there showing you how to use it um, I tried mine out for the first time the other day and I absolutely love it so fantastic little tool um, we also have our little sewing kits. These are like a mystery kit. If you spend over £35 in the shop here in person, you get one of these for free um, and also online as well. Um, if you spend over... Yes, you get the tea, you get the tissue pouch with all woven fabric purchases above 35 and a tea bag holder and a tissue pouch with all woven fabric purchases above 70, uh, 55. So they're little kits to make our popular tea bag holder. And like so, doo -doo. And the little tissue pouch as well. And they're all mystery packs, so you don't know what colour's in them. Um, but all of the pieces have been cut out for you already. And there's a little piece of paper in there with a link to the video so you can watch how to make them. So that's quite exciting. I thought they would be nice for Christmas. We've got magnetic pin cushions in stock. We've got these in five different colours. They're yellow, green, red, white and blue. They're in today. What else is new that's on the shelf that we haven't had for a while? Ah, yes. 6 by 24 inch rotary rulers. This is the go-to size for all of the projects that I teach. Um, we've also got A1 cutting mats available. I've got 10 of those in stock. Although we're not posting those, I'm afraid, because they're just not practical to post. So they are only available if you can pick up. Um, I'll try and move you this way a bit. Um, we have got freezer paper in stock now. If you haven't ever used freezer paper before, I'm going to do a little YouTube shorts um, or a little video to show you how this works in the week. You can either buy a whole box of it. Um, or we are also selling it by the metre, so you can buy just a metre of it if you just want to use it for small projects. It's so good if you are making lots of little projects, so like you want to make our little scissor keeper for instance, you can make a pattern out of your freezer paper, you iron it onto the paper and cut around the pattern, um, and then you peel it off, it's not going to stick stick, it sticks on enough for you to cut it out, and then you peel it off, it leaves no residue whatsoever, you can reuse it, stick it on another bit of fabric and cut it out again. So if you're doing batch making for lots of small projects, it's brilliant. Um, Sandra uses it for our Luna Lapin class that we do, um, and she does the whole of Luna um, in freezer paper, and then you just literally iron all her pieces onto the felt, cut them all out, and then you've got your pattern to reuse time and time again. Um, Becca says it's great for top stitching around necklines. Yes, the Mariflex. It gives you such a professional finish. You don't. You can hem with it as well. No more zigzagging hems. Um, just a beautiful straight stitch. I love it. So other things that we have in. Oh my goodness me. My one of my favourites. And this is a bit of a splurge. I have to admit, we've only got a few pairs of them. But Christmas is coming. They are German and they are carbon dressmaking shears. Um, and they are beautiful. Let me just two sets. I'm going to grab my pair. They are absolutely beautiful <clears throat> in that they, they have a good weight to them, but they're not so heavy that they hurt your hand. Sometimes a really heavy pair of dressmaking shears can really hurt your hand. But they just, listen... 
I don't know if you could hear that. I've got a little video that I took on my phone yesterday of me cutting some fabric and it's just such a satisfying... <sighs> they are just to die for. I love them. They are £35 a pair, so they are quite expensive. And like I say, they are a bit of a splurge. Um, but if you are after something really lovely for Christmas, lovely present idea. Um, we have our own range of friction pens or the heat erasable pens in black and red. Um, so these work exactly the same way as the friction pens. So you can mark your fabric, iron them off. And then again, something else I've only ever seen in the Netherlands, things are slowly starting to creep over here now, um, is ready-made cuffs for your sweatshirts and jumpers. I love these, I use these all the time, and I always stock up on black ones when I'm in Holland. Um, but I've got red, black, navy and charcoal grey, which are really nice. They're just £4.50 a pair. And then these are the things I'm really excited about. I need to pick you up. I don't know if this is going to work very well. But we have a small range of prim tools. And I've gone for the prim pliers. And these are the colour snap prim pliers. So they actually come with the little piece that's needed to attach what you know as can snaps. But they're not allowed to call them that because can snaps is a brand. So they're the prim colour snaps so we've got some various colour snap packs um, and the pliers but the pliers are brilliant I didn't even realise exactly how much they did until I watched a video um, that Lauren's done from Guthrie Garni it's here on YouTube go and search it out I'm not going to do my own because hers is brilliant um, and it shows you all of the things that you can use the pliers for now what I didn't realise is that when you buy a pack of rivets or buttons or eyelets or something like that, I know it comes with a little tool inside um, that you can attach the eyelets or rivets with, but it's not the best. But what I didn't realise is that the little piece that you add into that tool that comes in the packet slots into those pliers. So those pliers are multi-purpose. So for £12.50, you've got a fantastic bit of kit in your sewing box. So I think they're going to go down a storm this Christmas. So you can see up there we've got four lots of the colour snaps. Um, we've also got some um, flat-headed flower pins. I was asked to get those in. They're quite popular. And I was also asked to get the doll needles in. Again, we've been doing a lot of the lunar lapan classes. Um, so people wanted them for that so lots of new exciting things as you'll see I'm just having a little look around just to make sure I've not forgotten any of our new stuff no so fabrics let me talk to you about fabrics I only have four new fabrics in stock at the moment uh, no that's a complete lie I've got eight new fabrics in stock at the moment I'm going to move over here so that you can see them let me just move this rail Ooh. now the first thing to tell you is what I'm wearing because I know that's going to come up this is the sew over it E dress and um, I've made it in a lightweight print aroma which is not what you're supposed to do it is a woven garment however I think you would agree it fits really nicely it's super comfy and it's quite warm for this time of year and I love it so on Monday I will be releasing details of a challenge that I am going to be putting in place where you make the Eve dress. I'm going to show you and talk to you about all the changes I made to the pattern and the instructions um, and I'm going to be obviously telling you what you need to buy to make it. Obviously we've got all the threads, we've got all the bindings, we've now got all the fabrics too. Um, so if you want to get in quick, because these are going to go quickly, um, you do need between two and a half and three metres, so check your sizes with Eve. I have got three lightweight printies in stock to show you. And some of these are sold already, <laughs> they only came in yesterday. Um, I've got this beautiful rose one. So you can see how drapey it is. Um, it's a really nice drapey fabric, 
but it's got some real substance to it so for autumn winter it's absolutely perfect so this is a lovely one with roses and kind of goldy leaves then this one here oh hi carol oh i'm trying not to drop this on myself this one here again is a jady green it's navy background the light's not great i know at this time of night to do this but hopefully you can get the light on there it's got it's a navy blue with a jady green and cream and grey flower, but you can see how lovely and drapey that is. It really is nice. So these are viscos, fifty four percent viscos, strange strange combination, and um, fifty four percent viscos, forty two percent polyester, and four percent spandex. So they do have some stretch in them, but not a crazy amount. Um, which is nice, it's what gives it a nice structure, which is lovely. And then this is the last one I've got, this is so classy. Leslie's already bought two and a half metres of this today um, to make one, but I think this is lovely, you can almost get that kind of Versace feel um, to it, and I think that's going to make such an elegant 70s style um, wrap dress, really, really lovely. Um, so they are gorgeous. And as I say, I will be launching the challenge on Monday and giving full details. I'm going to do a YouTube video and upload it. Um, I'm going to do a proper challenge of a competition um, so that there's prizes to be won and all sorts. Um, but you will need two and a half metres to three metres, depending what size you're making, of the um, lightweight viscose. Or you can use any cotton jersey. You don't have to use the lightweight viscose. Um, but that's just what I personally recommend. The other thing you could use is, I do have some regular weight pump aroma, but one of them is lighter than all the others. And although they're all the same range and they're the same fabric makeup, I think it's probably just the dye that's been used in that particular um, batch. Sometimes different dyes can affect yarn and wool differently. Um, I know if you knit, you'll know that you can buy all the balls of wool from Stylecraft, but one or two of them might be slightly feel slightly thicker or thinner um, than others and that's because of the dye that they use. So I'll show you our ponties as well. We've got four colours. This is the one that's slightly lighter, so this would make a nice Eve if you wanted to make a plain one. This reminds me colour wise of just a nice lightweight chambray or a denim colour. It's really lovely. This is um, the Blue Marl. Um, and again, this is 67% um, polyester, 31% rayon and 2% spandex, um, which is um, a standard pomp aroma rather than the viscose ponty. We've got it in four colours. So we've got that blue. We've then got this beautiful, it's like a bottle green. It's called Forest. It's kind of halfway between a bottle green and um, a kingfisher blue. Uh, but it's definitely more greeny than bluey. Um, quite hard to describe, and I say I don't know how it's coming up on here, probably not very well at all. Um, but it is just like a lovely foresty green. And then this one, which is like a charcoal brown. It's almost like a mushroom colour. Again, this is really lovely. It would make a lovely top. If you wanted to do a top or any of these um, ponties are perfect for the Tilly and the Buttons cocoa dress, which is obviously why I originally used to buy ponties in the first place. And then we've got a typical charcoal grey. And the easiest way to describe this colour is it's a school skirt. <laughs> So you could actually make skater skirts from this. Um, my daughter used to wear um, Ponty skater skirts at school um, and they do make really nice school skirts. So they're our new Ponty's that are in. And then we've just got one new cotton and it came in only because it was from the same supplier and I just loved it. I think it's really pretty. It reminds me of um, the kind of feed sack Americana um, you know, vintagey craft at Cath Kitston. It's really pretty and I think it would just make something lovely. Um, you could use this for dressmaking because it is wide, um, but I got it in because I thought it would make lovely crafts. Um, so that one's come in as well. So that's a new one. So I think that is everything that's new. 
that's come in and obviously we've had a move around if you're local to the studio we'd love to see you um, come down and have a look we're going to have an open day on the 10th of December um, where we're going to have obviously the shop open we're going to be doing some gift sets and gift packs um, we are going to have all the samples of our classes out so you can have a look and see what we do and we can talk to you about things you might want to make in the new year um, you can come and buy gift certificates, send your family in, come and have a look at the sewing machines, talk about sewing machines with us. Um, and we're going to have um, non-alcoholic mulled wine and mince pies. So if you're around on the 10th, um, we'd love to see you. Um, likewise, if you're not local um, and there's something that you think we can do for you for the Christmas period, please do try and shop independent businesses where you can. I know how tempting it is to go um, to the likes of Amazon and just buy online. It is easier. But there are lots of people like us who are more than happy to send things to you too. And we can still be very competitive. Obviously, we probably can't beat Amazon. Um, but you'll know that you're putting food on my table and keeping a roof over my head, which hopefully will make you feel good about your spend. So if, for instance, let's give, us an, give you an example. You know you want to come in for a couple of days and you want to make a Tilly in the Buttons liar address. Um, you can let us know what fabric you like. Um, we can put the pattern and the fabric together in a box with a gift certificate for two days worth of lessons um, with all the threads you might need and any haberdashery or any tools and equipment that you haven't got that you might want. We can make you up a bespoke box that we can send to you um, or we can send to a family member or you can come in and pick it up, we can get it ready for you so that you can open up your custom made box um, on Christmas Day and I love putting those together. Um, and I've got lots of regular customers who come in and I've got their wish lists behind the counter and then when their partners phone me up and say what do they want for Christmas I can tell them exactly what they want so if you want to give me your wish list then by all means please get in touch with me um, and I will put you in my notebook and I'll be ready to talk to your friends and family when they call. You can also buy gift vouchers from our website for any amount you like. So you can use that on materials or classes or online courses. So I hope that covers sort of everything that we've got. I haven't got any plans for anything new um, extra to come in. Um, this side of Christmas um, the budget is well and truly spent um, so get shopping people and then the budget will increase and we can get some lovely new fabrics in and new stocks in for the new year and start to think about our spring summer wardrobes um, but in the meantime there is still lots of um, fabrics available look out on our Instagram and our Facebook for some special offers that we've got coming up um, we're not doing a Black Friday sale um, I don't believe in Black Friday sales. I don't think they're fair to my existing customers. Um, so I don't do them. But I have got some really good special offers um, coming up um, over the next few weeks. So thank you very much for tuning in. Hopefully you have enjoyed what you've seen. Head off to our website. I'll put the link in the description. Um, and just go to the fabric shop at the top. And the majority of the new stuff, if it's not fabric, is listed in the haberdashery section. Um, but if it's anything that I've said is new, there's also a new in category. So you can go and have a look in there and you'll find the fabrics and all the bits in that new in category. I've got a delivery on Tuesday of more Mariflex thread. So if the colour that you want isn't available, that's absolutely fine. Just order what you can and then you can place another order on Tuesday and just put click and collect and I will combine them together because I won't post them. Just let me know in the comments that that's what you're doing. All right, many thanks. I'll see you all soon if I can work out how to end this. <laughs> end.